Welcome back to International Scale Modeler. We're going to do a review today of a, a third place prize in one of our GBs. Uh, it's the Rodan uh, Beechcraft UC43 Staggerwing. Um, and this is from Rodan. Uh, Rodan. Uh, again, I've had a look in the box in this uh, and it does look like a very nice kit. I love the subject. It's a really unusual subject and um, I, I think these, these are still used today in some places. But uh, uh, it's really different and it's nice to see a biplane, uh, a reasonably modern biplane and everything like that. But uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to having a look at this. I haven't even looked in the box yet. So uh, let's see what's inside. Right, okay, the Roden Beechcraft UC43 Staggerwing. That's the box art. That's, uh, that's a lovely box art, actually. Um, this is from Roden, obviously. And I think that's a really nice box art. I do like the look of that aircraft, I've got to say. It's um, just quite evocative of some sort of era. It really is nice. It's just a, it seems like a, a, um, like a, a cross between, you know, between the wars, World War One and World War Two, it's just the feel that the, the aircraft gives. Uh, but on the box, got a little bit write up about the aircraft in several languages. Um, got three schemes there that's inside, which we'll have a look at further detail in a minute. The box is the bottom of the box is quite strong, top's a bit flimsy. Let's have a look inside. There's not too much plastic actually, so let's just pop that up there. In fact, we have one bag, which is a Obviously a bit of a bugbear of mine. Let's open it up and have a look at the plastic inside. Right. Let's go with the fuse dash first. Now this is a, a 148 scale. Um, and uh, it looks to be quite a nice looking bit of plastic. Some nice detail on there. Uh, well, I will notice straight away. I'm gonna zoom you in here just so you can have a quick, a better look. But uh, quite a bit of flash around here, as you can see, all up and down this spring, which is me a bitch to get rid of. There's a little bit on the prop as well, um, and all around here, flash everywhere around every single piece. The first thing that hits you, the plastic itself is quite nice. Uh, very reminiscent. Uh, I would say uh, of Italeri plastic actually. That's what it kind of feels like. Um, not brilliant. <laughs> but uh, the detail seems to be okay. There's a nice level of detail on there. Um, we've got this stretched cloth look on the fuselage and everything. But as I say, every single bit's covered in, in flash. So there's a bit of work going to be need to be done there. Uh, inside the fuselage pretty much at, uh, non-existent detail there, a couple of handles on this side but apart from that absolutely nothing uh, as you can see here as well. So uh, EPMs are abound on this kit, there's a lot of taking down as you can see if you look down that there, there's a lot of taking down on the EPMs and they are everywhere. Oh god and that, that's not nice at all. You've got these uh, ejection pin marks right here in the middle of this, let's just show you in again, sorry. You can see you've got these eject pin marks inside of the wheel well. Uh, when you've got the legs down, you are going to see that. So you're going to have to fill all of those. Um, I can imagine you filling quite a few of these actually. And um, you've got some on the floor of the cockpit as well. You're going to fill those. Um, and it, on the door here, that's quite a bad one, as you can see. So they are uh, EPMs abound on this kit, so not a brilliant kit, but 
looking at the fuselage, it is a very nice looking aircraft, I've got to say, and uh, one I haven't seen before. It's gone to the wings. It's got another quite decent sized sprue here on the wings, upper and lower of both wings. Now, the, there actually isn't any flash on this sprue at all. Uh, not on the parts themselves. I'm just trying to see if there's some burring. There's a tiniest amount of burring, but I think once you've, uh, if you use Tamiya Extra Thin or uh, Mr. Soft, uh, Mr. Cement, then you're going to melt that away and you'll just have a quick fault and it will be gone. Uh, apart from that, uh, just a couple of rub downs on the EPMs. They are raised a little bit again, so you're going to have to take those down before you stick the wings together. Uh, otherwise you won't have a good fit. Uh, but they're a, a lot better than the uh, than the other sprue, that's for sure. Um, so we've got uh, another sprue here, we've got uh, the engine, obviously a radial engine, and uh, the detail on that is not too bad. Um, again, there's, there's burring and a little flash all inside here which on all the spokes which is going to have to be worked on to make it look good. Uh, the engine itself obviously it looks like there's two parts there. Not too bad, not too bad. There's no flash on this bit which is great or this ring here um, and this very fine bit here there's none on there either so that's small saving graces. Uh, we've got another, we've got the, the wing stanchion here, uh, seat uh, front leg, uh, one of the leg suspensions. Uh, this is a mirrored sprue. There's two sprues exactly the same. And again, there's a bit of flash um, all the way around the edge of this burring on the stanchion. That's going to have to be taken down. And some really bad EPMs on the other side of this wheel. Uh, I would imagine they're actually used to fit the wheels together. But personally, I'd take if you can see uh, how they stick out there. Uh, personally, I would just cut them off and do the wheels yourself, don't use uh, any guidance there. Edge of the seat covered in burr as well, so lots of flash, lots of fun there for everyone. Uh, the glass is a little bit misty, I have to say, it's not beautiful. Uh, let's bring you in here. As you can see, it's not perfect in any way, shape or form. Um, that is definitely going to need a rub down with some Tamiya compounds or some such to make that nice all the way, uh, every piece is going to need doing as well because it's not brilliant, so you're going to have to really shine that up a bit to make that look nice. Um, so uh, a little bit of work there, so the whole kit's going to need uh, quite a bit of work. Um, so we'll pop that over there, now we've got the instructions here, and the decals are in the same bag, so let's just open these up. Right, the decals, uh, it's a very small decal sheet as you can see, which is unusual for an aircraft. Uh, they seem to be in register, but there's quite a bit of bleed on the colours. Let's get you in so you can see what I mean. Get you right in close to these. Now as you can see on these uh, stars here, there's a lot of bleed just in here. Let's get a marker for you. There's a lot of bleed here. Um, and uh, again on this one here and here, uh, so the colours bled into the rest of the transfer. This bit here is not in register, there's an overlap there, so it's two different shades of blue. Again there's bleed here, okay, and uh, all over the place. So the decals, you can see here, look, bleed outside the ring. Um, and uh, So the decals are, are, I would say, pretty poor actually. Um, you can read the writing, but as you can see on there, on this bit here, the writing is completely knackered. Um, I mean, if you put that on your, you can see here, this bit here, that, that word's completely messed up. So the decal's probably going to need replacing. I'm sure that if you contacted Roden um, and said, look, these details and these decals are naff, especially this bit here because it just makes the, 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 it just looks like a block of ink on there. So that's unfortunate. I feel for the guy who's gonna win these in third place. Um, now the instruction manual is uh, definitely a photocopied A4, slightly smaller than an A4 piece of paper. There's um, a lot of write up, which I do like, uh, about the, the Beechcraft Stagger Wing. Uh, it looks like there's uh, Russian, 
English and I would say German on there. Um, so there's quite a bit, bit going on there. So let's have a look, quick look through the instructions. I'm sure there's not many of them. Uh, so you've got some got a sprue map here. Uh, there's nothing to say about the paint score, that's some technical information at the top here. Uh, this isn't going to be a complicated kit to put together, which I think is quite obvious from the, from the instructions as well. Uh, the cockpit looks like it builds up nice, but as I say, there's lots of EPMs and things like that that can need to be sorted. Uh, quite a few parts in here. Um, obviously putting the wings together, then you put the fuselage together, and the rest of the wings on, etc, etc. Um, but uh, not a big kit, not a lot to do, and as you can see, once it's all put together, we've got a couple of bits of aerial there. Uh, paint schemes. Um, there are no uh, paint coolers. Oh, yeah, so let's have a look. The paint coolers on the back are Model Master, which was all right for the Americans amongst you, but for the rest of us, we don't use it, Model Master. So, conversion charts out for that, uh, I'm afraid. There's no other options there. Uh, paint schemes, you've got uh, this one here which is designed to the US Air Attaché in American Embassies in London 1939. And now that I think is the uh, blue and yellow version. Okay, so there's a blue and then a yellow on the underside of the wings. Uh, so again, I would definitely paint the wings separate before you put the uh, aircraft together because otherwise it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Uh, then you've got... Uh, uh, US Air Force England 1943 and that is going to be the uh, green version so it's all over like a khaki drab green on the box the same colour as lots on the box and then you've got the third uh, version which is US Army Communication late 14, 1944 which looks like to be a silver colour now there won't be aluminium because I think this is a lot of cloth colour a lot of cloth cover on this so it's going to be a silver, not an aluminium. But uh, as you can see, three three uh, distinct paint schemes to choose from. Um, but that's about it. So um, with regards to the uh, the Beechcraft UC43 Staggerwing, I think it's a great looking uh, model. Um, I think that's going to build up nice. I think you're going to need a lot of love and attention to that. Uh, a lot of work to get it looking nice. I think someone like Gary at Michael Models again would make an absolute blinder out of this uh, with what his kits. And I think this sort of kit would be straight right up his street. But um, it's a lovely, it's a lovely aircraft uh, um, and a lovely subject. And I think it's just going to need a little bit of TLC to get it looking really, really nice. But once you do, it's going to be a cracker to have on your display cabinet or on your shelf. I really like that, and I'm really tempted to get it just to to uh, have it as a project and I like this colour as well, I love this colour. But uh, but anyway, so that's the Roden Beechcraft UC43 Staggerter Wing in 148 scale and until next time, thank you very much, take care, happy modelling.